Okay, this is my deluxe rain barrel system that I created. Um, it's two 55 gallon drums that you get from any farmer. Um, they go anywhere from $5 to $15. Some places might charge you a little bit more. It's a total of 110 gallons of water coming down from my, my downspout. Um, now, I'll, I'll explain how to put this together. Before you put the barrels in, put them off to the side, dig your four holes into the ground. Don't worry about cementing them in the ground yet. Just, uh, just drop them in the ground. It doesn't matter whether they're level or not, and I'll explain why in a little bit. <clears throat> Once they're in, go ahead and put the 27-inch uh, 4x4s across here, here, and here. Now, what I used for um, to hold this up, I used L brackets. Put the middle L brackets in with two inch screws and they'll hold perfectly fine on all these. Do them in the back as well. Once you get this set up, put in the uh, corner beams and this actually holds the weight of the, of the 110 gallons of water. Once you go ahead and get that part set up, go to the back. When you do the back the same as the front, go ahead and start your, your middle. And that's connecting them together. Take a two, in, two foot um, two by four here, here, which is catty corner, 45 degree angle, and then also another 2x4 right here, and that'll hold everything in, in condition of the weight. It won't rock back and forth. Do it on the other side as well. Once you get all this together, you want to go ahead and install your stabilizer bars. These are 2x4s. They're about 3 feet, wide, three feet long. Um, got one on each side here and also down here, and that will hold the barrel from rocking back and forth. Once you get that set up with the stabilizers, go ahead and take your barrels and slide them in place. Now before you slide them in place, you want to go ahead and cut a hole in the top one before you put it up here. Cut it out about seven to eight inches, um, and then behind that one you want to cut a small one, like two to three inches. The smaller hole is going to be shooting air for the pressure of the spigot down here. Now once, once you go ahead and do that, slide it in place, put a screen around the holes, that way nothing gets in it, no debris. I'll show you when we're done here on, on what that looks like. We want to work on the, the connectors here, which is PVC 2 inch. First thing is, is you want to put a plug here and a plug here, and they're screw-ins. Now before you screw them in, you got to get something called aquamarine epoxy glue. It's like $6. Go ahead and wrap it around here inside and then screw on the plugs. <clears throat> Let them sit for four hours and while you're still doing that, go ahead and do the same thing here. You put the epoxy glue inside this one and this one and then you want to add nine, um, you want to add your male adapters. Screw in the male adapters into the barrels. Let it dry for about four hours. And then you want to take your two inch PVC plumbing um, pipes and you want to Connect them into the male adapters, top and bottom. Now the elbows, the 90 degree elbows and the two inch PVC pipe, do those separately. You want to take the whole unit and build it first. Measure it out, build it, and then put them together. Just slide it right on. Now before you do all that, you do have to use plumber's PVC cement and also the purple primer. As you can see, I've got that on here now. Um, go ahead and use the primer, wrap it around, and then use the glue, wrap it around, and then put everything on, and it'll set within 30 seconds. Now once we're done with that, um, we go ahead and add the spigot, I'm mean, not the spigot, the, um, the gutter and the downspout, uh, exactly where you need it to go, and we're going to show it to you in a second. Now once I said that don't worry about the, uh, the height of this thing, if it's level or not, Reason being is, is here in Tennessee we have a lot of rocks, so some places are going to be deeper than others. Like this one right here was probably about five to five to eight inches taller than that one over there. This one over here was a different size. So once I got everything in the ground and I threw in the cement and it was all solid, then I took my circular saw and just cut the ends off. Once I cut the ends off, it looks completely normal. You can't even really tell. The 110 gallons of water is going to hold it in place so you don't have to worry about any wind or something knocking it over. It's going to be sturdy.